Hello, I'm Joshua Fogg from the Numix community, and I'm here to show you how to make a Steam game icon request for the Numix Circle icon theme. Now, this works a little differently than for normal application icon requests, so I just thought I'd take the time to walk you through the process. Now, first, you want to launch up Steam, and you're looking for a game that doesn't already have a Numix Circle icon. Now, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to go with the Waveform game, because as you can see when we search it, it doesn't already have a Circle icon. Now you want to fire up a web browser, and from there go to the Numix project homepage. Now on the far left you will see a panel, and on the bottom of it a link to their GitHub page. And there you're looking for the Numix icon theme circle repository. Under issues, now before you file an issue, you want to first check that no one's already filed the issue for the same program you're looking at. So we're looking for people already having filed the waveform game. Nothing under open. And nothing under closed. So we're fine to go on and file this request. Now the title of our issue will be icon for, and then the name of your game, in our case, waveform. And in brackets at the end, you want to put Steam, because uh, Steam games get their icons slightly differently to normal applications, so it's good to know straight from the off what type of request this is. So first we want the name of the game, which is just Waveform, and then you want that game's unique Steam app ID. Now, Steam assigns a unique number to each item in its library. And that's also how icon themes assign icons to games in the Steam library. So we want to find this ID. And to find it, we go back to Steam, right click on our game, and create desktop shortcut. As you can see, a shortcut has been created. We want to right click on this, edit launcher, and in the command section, we want to go to the very end, and next to run game ID, you'll see a number. I want to copy that number and paste it in because that is this game's app ID. Now if you're using a desktop environment that doesn't have launchers or doesn't interact with them, you can also go to steamdb.info, search the name of your game, so now I can say waveform, and you'll see there a waveform game, and in the far left column, its unique app ID, which again, you could just paste in. Now you want to upload an icon for this game so the developers know what they're working against, what's, what design they've already got to work from. So you want to go to select an item and from your home folder you want to go to the hidden.steam directory, steam, steam apps, common, and then you'll get a list of games. Now you want to find your game in this list, so we want waveform. And then this is a directory that has all of that game's Steam data in. So you're looking for some, some image file that is the icon. Now this clearly isn't the image file that we were looking for. So you continue to look through until you find the icon file. And then you click open. And that will be uploaded to the GitHub report. Now if you can't find your Steam games icon, as I know is the case, uh, with some games, you can go to Google Images and search the name of your game and then icon. And more often than not, though not in this case, maybe add game, you, it brings up icons for that game and you're fine to just link to them as long as there's some pre-existing icon that the developers can see. At the end of this, uh, you just want to write some notes about anything that you think it will make the developer's job easier when making these icons. So for me, I'm just going to write a game about waves, uh, but you could write a game about battling in a certain situation or something that the icon could be if the icon that you found is too complicated. Uh, just something simple to make the designer's job easier. Now, all this having been done, and everything checked over and happy with, you can click Submit New Issue, and your bug report will be filed.
uh, if you ever want to check back on this you go to the issues section and under open you will see the issue that you filed. I hope that's been helpful and happy bug reporting.